Ghostbusters, what do you want? We can schedule a visit um, next Thursday, sometime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. I'm afraid that's the soonest. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian, more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so. But I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this! The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself! Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! Huh, that's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. It's opening we have. Doesn't Peck all right. look exactly like the kind of guy end. who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a oh, bosom it won't be glider? Necessary to call I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Believe me, you'll know it. That'll be... Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Alyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey, 
Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Whoa, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Gray Lady borders on the weird. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Big crowd. Venkman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Look out! There they go! Whoa! Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You heard Stance, let's move! <laughs> there they are! Couple of Class 5 animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the packs. Alright. Take it easy now. Hey! He said take it easy! That's not easy. Miss! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. To use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Cool! A freeze ray? A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here.
Look, it's the cadet! Strong emanations, no direct source, though. We followed our guy in here, and it gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Uh oh! Here comes something big! PK energy must it take to collect and animate an entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look! There she is! Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way! Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. See if you can pick up a signal. PK ease out and try to be quiet. Oh wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Shh. Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the Grey Lady! She's the first ghost we ever hunted! Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Let's go! We'll cut her off! These readings are off the charts. Charts. Wow! Now listen. This is reading like a second. Here! This one, Find her quick. thrower. Everybody stick close together. What was that? Ah! Okay, so much for stick together. New plan is fan out. Like simple approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around in here. Two that we know about. Dropping. Event imminent. 
Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings. All about some nut named Edmund Moore, a.k.a. The Collector. Hmm. Go on. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Twitty, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. five animator. I tracked the slug here. There's the big fish! You see what he did? Give him a new home. And our containment facility. I'm doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way!
Lose your PKE. It's dead up here. The good kind of me. You all cool? We may need to get back to you on that. Hey kid, what's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky but combustible. slot here. There's the big fish! See what he did? Give him a new home, and our containment facility. I'm doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way! an eye on the twitchy ones. They'll really crease you if you aren't careful. You all right? Game. 
where they came from. It's on your left! Give it to him! I like your style, kid. Looks like the Grey Lady makes her own reinforcements. Keep your eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. Well, at least we're getting closer. Could not hear a word of that, Ray. Ray! Try to pick up a signal. Up high! Ow! Whoa! Ow! to get out of here. Uh, Winston, where the heck are you? In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care, specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great. Yeah, and when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. 
Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh-oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azat Lore, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. Take a scan, would you? That's a bad sign, but it sure isn't a good one. Jeez! That'll only hurt for a minute. You hear that? It's around here someplace. Uh-huh. Somebody's in here. It's... children. What are they saying? I think they're trying to tell us something. Out wherever you are. Oh boy, we're not alone. Ugh, I gotta be more careful. You all right? What else did Hoover collect? You got that right, Scooter. Here's the place. Special collections. These rooms are packed with rare and valuable volumes. Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. Shh. Almost. Shh. Oh boy. Like they're throwing the whole science fiction section. Their shields. Use the capture stream on their shields. Remember how you were saying Print was dead? I wish. Now where'd she go? Valence is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere. Big spike. Right here. Yeah, check this out. I feel a breeze. Oh, cool. Secret passages. These are great.
I didn't even know this area existed. Looks like the janitors did. <laughs> What are those? I don't recognize them from Tobin. No. They're in the revised Ethiary catalog. I think the Grey Lady is constructing them from the books and minor spirits here. She may be more powerful than we thought. Take a look at this place. I could spend a month taking inventory of these books. Let's be very careful what we wish for down here, Ray. We should tell Winston to get down here. We could probably use his help. I've been trying to raise him. There's too much interference. Wow. Dig that. Ray, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best course of action. Hey, I'll bet this is a trap! Welcome back, Ray. serious doubts about the structural integrity of this sub-basement. Uh-oh! They've got friends! It's moving again! Over to the left! I'm telling you, the substructure is unstable. The ceiling could come down on top of us. Our low probe experiment is working. You're clairvoyant. No, I saw the support column buckle. Those beams are wedged solid. Good place for the capture stream.
Angle that out of the way. Those beams are wedged solid. Good place for the capture stream. That's excellent. Wonder what's down there. Something big, and more than likely terrifying. It's really dark down there. Damn, too. Wonderful. Hope we don't have any open pets. I'm thinking flesh-eating bacteria. That's an electric lock on the door. See if you can find the power. Great! The recruit found it! Now, uh, I wonder if it's a good idea to be standing in a foot and a half of water. That didn't last long. I'm a big fan of the level 6 bi-dimensional attractor. I'm with you on that. We're lucky there were only some old books for it to manifest with. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. Um... This is cheery. Nice place. There's nothing bad could ever happen in here. There she is! Flank her! She's got nowhere to run! Except through the grave. I'm not clear on how the flanking was supposed to work. Oh boy, burning coal. Two of them this time. Yeah, nice way. Tell us again how lucky you feel. Ray Lady before this gets really dangerous. We may have missed that window, Ray. Well, we can't follow her through that grate. Is there another way? What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the proton pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the slime blower, just point and squirt. It'll help neutralize any active batches of black slime. See? Neutronized slime. Our own private shortcut to hell. That's convenient. This is where the Collector killed the Librarian. 
I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. She took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. And she just crossed right back. Oh, no. Stands are generating her shield. Buddy, the podium, soak them, soak them. That's it. She can't regenerate the cage. Keep hitting the book stands. She is shielding herself from the codices. Go after those first. Bookstands are generating for shield. That's nothing. Now let's attack the librarian straight on. Throw a capture stream on her! That's good. She's throw out the trap. Weird. That wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the 5th to the 4th. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Watch out, Black Slime. Come on, let's go! All right, keep your head down and keep hitting these portals. One of them has got to lead out. Uh, the sign. The natives are restless. Well, they're certainly aware of our presence.
Well, that was embarrassing. Looks like a good place for slime tether. To stretch a slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the resulting reaction. Since their ectoplasmic charge has a short half life the tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. You can blast an existing tether with any other flipper type to destroy it. Like a pro! Huh, would you look at that? Heck, we should be able to put that back into place. Ghost world or no, the principle of leverage should still work the same anyway. Come on, John Henry, put your back in. Ah, yeah, you're on fire, Ray, cadet. It occurs to me that these events are interrelated. The Bozerian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puffed. Yeah. Yes, even this, all pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. Do you think she's a factor in this? Maybe not intentionally, but almost definitely. Ray, are you still there? Watch out! The mirror's not what they see!
Heads up, boys, wherever you are. Portal is at the very top. Keep moving, sport. Sure don't want to be trapped in here. Staircase. The exit portal is at the very top. Keep moving, sport. Sure don't want to be trapped in here. Staircase. The exit portal is at the very top. Keep moving, sport. Sure don't want to be trapped in here. I don't like what they've done with the place here. 
But I hoped that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azitlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh boy. Were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie's tree? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. 